Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I am King, Sports Information Director Travis Cho, here with Head Men's Golf Coach Brian Cam. Thanks for joining us today, Coach. Um, starting the season here, you've had practice for a couple weeks with the men's team. Uh, some a lot of new, a lot of old faces, some new faces. How how have you know they've been meshing together, and how's practice been going here over these first couple of weeks? Oh, it's, it's been going fine. Uh, we've gone through qualifying. We only have 18 holes left, so. Uh, we got kind of new freshmen that are getting involved with uh, really a senior laden team this year. Yeah, you mentioned it's it's a very old team, you know, veteran squad coming back. A lot of seniors and juniors that have been there before, played in tournament play. Um, what are you expecting out of that group, and how does that help you as a coach to have, you know you have a lot of people that have been through it before that, that you can kind of rely on? Yeah, I like I have like seven juniors and seniors, so I, I, expect, I expect our year to be much better this year. Uh, you know, we're really looking at um, the leadership of uh, Ross and John and, and uh, some of our seniors and, and Taylor. So we're hoping that they come through like that. You know, Mo and uh, Mo and Matthias come back probably two of our leading scorers. Um, we're really looking for them to play well. Yeah, you mentioned leading scorers from last year where Mo had a really good year, a couple yeah. of top ten finishes. And Matthias uh, Boynes, who as a freshman last year played really well, is second on the team. And then Ross Maeda, who's I believe a senior, He's if, a senior. I, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, those are probably going to be your three, three top this year, and then you know, fill in the gaps below that. Well, we're hoping. I mean, but you, know, you never know if somebody's going to come from down there and have a really good year. That's really what we're hoping for, uh, to, to somebody else to join the mix. Yeah, it's nice to have guys like that, too, who have been there to help lead and teach those younger guys on how to get to that level, right? Yeah, you know, I've really been impressed with uh, some of the seniors this year. They've kind of taken over the team, and they're doing workouts on their own, and they're out running at 6.30 in the morning, they're out lifting weights at 9 o'clock at night on their own. So that's really been a positive thing, and I hope it shows up on the golf course. It makes it easier to get the coach. Yeah. <laughs> um, two, anyone, any of those younger guys, freshmen, anyone you're looking to that can maybe push them and maybe hop into that top three, top two group? Yeah, you know, we have a new freshman, um, we call him Pooh, he's from Thailand, and uh, he's, uh, he's had a good start. He, he, he would have qualified for the first tournament, but he's got some issues from his school back home in Thailand that they haven't gotten all the stuff at the NCAA, so we're still waiting on that. Hopefully that will happen in the next couple of weeks, but uh, I think he'll be a good asset to the team. And golf is one of those interesting sports, too. You play in the fall and then play in the spring and the conference championship is in the spring. Um, what are you trying to get out of the fall? What are you trying to learn? I mean, it all comes the same in the rankings and golf right. and all that stuff. But starting off, first tournament, what are you trying to get out of that? Uh, I would like us to go out and have a, that's a strong field. Uh, you know, Keough Island has uh, University of South Carolina can host it, and there's uh, plenty of teams in the top 10 and top 15 in the country are playing. So um, a top uh, fifth or sixth uh, would be a very good tournament for us against that competition. And, and going more more seasonal look here. Uh, last year didn't really go as planned. weren't up to expectations as as the men's golf course has been accustomed to in recent years. How do you kind of turn that around and, and get that momentum built going again this year? Well, I think success breeds success. So if, if we have a couple good tournaments, I mean, a couple good, somebody play well, I think you'll see everybody start feeling better about themselves and, and get more confident. So I, I I really think that the seniors will lead us. And I think, I think we'll get going down the road, I really do. All right, thanks for joining us today, Coach. They open up on Monday and Tuesday at Kiwa Island um, down there. And then the next tournament is at, the home, at home here at the Country Club of Bristol um, on September 29th and 30th if you want to come out and catch them there. Thanks for joining us, Coach, and good luck this year. All right, thank you.